This morning, Anderson High School is suspending the use of its mascot following a viral TikTok video of students performing what appears to be Native American garb. Mm -hmm. So the Delaware Tribe of Indians is now working with that school in hopes of making some changes. Our Gina Galeros is live in Anderson this morning looking at what might happen this week. Gina, good morning. Good morning, Julia and Carlos. Yes, Anderson High School is not using that mascot for now following that viral TikTok video. The district is claiming that this is their way of honoring Anderson's Native American history, but the Native, the, uh, the Delaware Tribe of Indians Chief wants the district to listen to their input and says there's other ways to do that. Now, Anderson Schools found out about the viral TikTok video last winter. It appears to show students performing in what looks like Native of American outfits before a basketball game. The school district says a 70 plus year tradition is meant to honor Chief William Anderson, who the city of Anderson is named after. But the chief of the Delaware Tribe of Indians says the performance doesn't show the true identity of the Lenape tribe. For example, Chief Anderson wouldn't wear that garb. I think that's been the key message all along is that you know, we're, we're not ignoring this. We're not um, brushing it under the rug. We really do want to have um, these very difficult conversations. The school system has uneducated themselves uh, on this uh, issue. And uh, I think that's where the problem lies. Is it doesn't, we're not pointing the fingers at Anderson. We just, you know, politely ask them to stop using the mascot. Um, you know, I feel that our voices haven't been heard. We've been told we need to go talk to our stakeholders first. We need to do this before we would ever change. And I'm sitting here telling you, this is our culture. These are our people. Our kids are seeing this on TikTok. Chief Kills Crow suggested a curriculum to help honor the Indian heritage or putting Chief Anderson's name on the back of their warm up jerseys, painting a, pa a painting or statue to honor Chief Anderson. As a result of the controversy, Anderson High School is suspending the use of its mascot until it finishes an internal review. Anderson School said is it, op it is open to input and recommendations, but it also wants the tribe to hear its side of the story. The school is set to report back to the tribe this upcoming Friday. Guys, back to you. Gina, thank you. It sounds like it started at mm -hmm. least a good conversation there. And this controversy surrounding the use of Native Americans as team mascots or names, of course, goes far beyond Anderson High School. For decades, teams and activists have been arguing about this issue. And of course, you don't have to look any further than our own Indianapolis Indians. Native American activists have called on the team to change their name. Back in July of 2020, the team announced they were forming a committee to consider the issue. So far, the team has continued to use the Indians name, but have made other changes to be more sensitive. The team stopped using a teepee out in center field when activists pointed out Native Americans in Indiana never used teepees. They also changed their mascot Rowdy from a Native American to a bear in the 90s. And across the professional sporting world, many teams have decided to change their names or mascots. Just this year, the Major League Baseball team for Cleveland was renamed the Guardians. The NFL team for Washington, D.C. is now the Commanders. The NBA's Golden State Warriors replaced their Native American logo with the Golden Gate Bridge in the 60s. And there have been many changes in college sports as well, including Miami of Ohio naming themselves the Red Hawks in the 90s. Dartmouth also rebranded to the green team back in the 70s. St. John's, Syracuse, you have all these different colleges doing that same kind of thing. And it's funny because I, I talked to a lot of people, you know, from Cleveland, you know, who were against the name change. Mm -hmm. And then they would say to me, well, how, how would you feel if your Indianapolis Indians changed their name? And so when it hits closer to home, then you kind of have to kind of reassess. Um, and it's a, it's a hot button topic right yeah. now, not just with pro teams, but also with college teams and now yeah, the high school. school in Anderson.